cool level, I guess. I mean, it's the start of a really good series, but this this level didn't really age well in like its gameplay. But it's fine. It's easy, so it's whatever. First try, let's go. Or, yeah. Basically, first try. This is classic level. Just a classic level. If you're getting into demons, this is like a perfect one to start off with. And, yeah. <laughs> Nothing really to say about it since like everyone that plays GD knows about this level, but whatever. This level is really, really fun, but it's so frustrating. <laughs> this is like a really satisfying and fun level, but when you die, it's so frustrating. Cause there's a lot of, not a lot, but there's, there's some blind clicks and the waves are questionable, but I still do really like this level. Uh, I don't, I don't think this is the best Toxin Lab level, but I, I really like how the decoration mixed with the song makes it really satisfying to go through. But <laughs> I was getting kind of mad <laughs> playing this. Cause it's still hard. I don't know. I don't know if it's an insane demon. I th I think it's a hard demon, but it's still a hard, hard demon. So, yeah. Why? Why? Why am I? Di why am I dying like that? It's why, dude. Oh my god.
Nice. I think this is the best toxin lab level. Uh, it, it's a lot more consistent and it looks a lot better than 3. I kind of like 3's, if, if 3 was a lot more consistent, I think 3 would be my favorite, but the blind clicks and stuff in 3 kind of brings it down a lot, but 4 doesn't have any of that, and all the gameplay is very straightforward, and it, it's still learning, but it's, it's still pretty intuitive and it flows really well. Yeah, that's the Toxin Lab series complete. Unless Toxin Lab 5 comes out in the next 100 years. Um, good series overall. I had fun rebeating all of them. Um, if Toxin Lab 5 ever does come out, I'll definitely play it. I guess. That's it. That's the Talks and Lab series. See you next time.